is writing a spiritual practice for you? Very much so. Very much so. I mean, I, you know, in many ways, I would say writing saved me. When I was growing up, my dad and I had like a really complicated relationship and film and television was our universal language. Like Mm -hmm. that was the way that we communicated with one another. And so I think what's so important to me when it comes to story is that film and television finds a way to uncover our truths, Mm -hmm. but also at its core always has this, I guess, underbelly of wanting us to be connected. And so I think what we do as storytellers and specifically through the medium of television is that we reflect that back at people. When you talk about this stuff, you have such a high level of self-awareness about your own life. You said you go to therapy, that you're in therapy. There's sort of a seamless way that you're able to connect what's going on in your career or what's going on in your work life with your own understanding of who you are as a person. I wonder if you think of therapy as something that's in your toolbox as a writer. Absolutely. And you figure I'm going to be 40 this year. So I think part of this sense of self and knowing just comes from age, just comes from growing up. But I also think absolutely therapy was critical. And and it's funny because I started therapy just as my professional writing journey began. And it was that process of really unpacking, uncovering where all of my wounds lie. This is going to sound strange, but I think in the process of thinking about myself as a character, it's helped Mm. me to unlock characters on the page. Do you approach your characters that way sometimes in the writer's room? Does your room turn into a little therapy session for the character sometimes? Always. Kind of the magic formula sometimes to be able to create a character-driven storyline for for someone that doesn't just go A, goes to B, goes to C, because the way that we react as humans, it makes perfect sense, but it's not linear. People love stories and people love television shows because it's all about conflict. But the Mm -hmm. reality is like, if we really synthesize what that means about conflict, I mean, it really truly is about choices that have consequences. The reality is you have to spend time unpacking the truths of your character and the choices that they're making and what the very real consequences are of those choices, whether it's an external choice that then impacts people around them or internal, like an emotional impact for them as an individual. And so, yeah, I mean, I don't know that I ever want to be involved on a show or be in a room where we're not digging in and having those conversations. 